Kyle, you started leading the team in this league too. You're walking away with the trophy now. How's the feeling right now? Yeah, it's a, a brilliant feeling. Look, uh, there's been a lot of hard work put in over the last couple of years, and obviously there was a bit of delay in between for for obvious reasons. And um, yeah, to to reach our target, you know, finishing top. That's what we what we set out, and it, it's a it's a proud day for us all. We just see today you lost the game. How do you see today's match specifically? You had a match in your grasp. Yeah, it was it was definitely in the grasp. You you just know you you've seen the last couple of games here. You know, batting second it generally favours that, but we gave ourselves every opportunity to to see the game home. Um, and Rohit, the uh, the way he played, you know, he just captain's knock. He just saw it home and saw it home with the the home fans and the crowd. The atmosphere was a spectacular. He, like, we should we should be playing more games of cricket here in Nepal. That's for sure. So you played here in Nepal with uh, in the Everest Premier League. You coming back with the national squad. How's the difference uh, where you find playing with a franchise and playing for the nation? Yeah, look, um, they're both special in in different ways. You know, the the franchise cricket. You get to meet uh, new players from around the world, and you also get to be on the same team as uh, local Nepali players, which which I've kept in contact with still to this day. So uh, I feel very privileged to get that opportunity. Um, coming here to play for Scotland is a, also a spectacular uh, occasion. Um, come to an amazing country. You know, there's so much, so much good going for the game here in, in Nepal. And like I said, it's certainly a place that I believe w we should be coming back and playing a lot more cricket. I think the atmosphere and the crowd and the the learning is so fast when you when you play in a a, a venue like this and um, getting. Our young players, even some of our older players, have probably never played with a crowd like that. So, um, you know, we give a huge amount of credit to the fans and and the Nepali team for the way they played. The last ticket has been very special to you. How different is it from this past week, where we saw Associate Cricket at its peak, 270 being chased, huge crowds? Uh, what does what this message sends to the Associate Cricket? Yeah, look, I, um, the the style in which the cricket was played in this series the chasing down of, of big totals uh, the the way the game can be advertised out here um, and uh, the excitement that that the game brings is is just really special um, it's a great advert for associate cricket whenever whenever associate teams play on the world stage and it's on TV it's a it's an amazing amazing occasion you see some some of the best games at World Cups have been um, between associates, or some some amazing games have also be, been between full members and associate nations. So um, it's about creating opportunity, trying to find more ways of of playing games of cricket, um, find more ways of um, growing the game in these in these countries, uh, and um, just trying to grow it globally. Uh, like there's a, we've got a fantastic product here. These uh, these teams, the games here, you know, been spectacular. You can see it. So we've got a good product. Just need a little bit, little bit more backing, and you know, you can see some absolute heroes coming out of this. Look at Rohit, the way he finished the game, turned into uh, you know a match-winning captain. You said you'd love to come back here. Uh, would it be as a, as a franchise team, or would it be a bilateral series with Scotland here? Uh, look, the franchise opportunity would be great. But you know, why wouldn't we come back here and play a bilateral series? Why wouldn't we? You know, it would be a. You just look at today's game and you think, well, we could have we could have ten of those in a in a in a series, you know. So why wouldn't we push for that? I'm sure, I'm sure uh, commercially it would be a, a, something that could happen, and um, you'd get a huge following, you know, and especially with the the fans here, you get an outstanding following. So yeah, let's. Why don't we try and make that happen? Well, you know most of the Nepali players. Did you expect uh, this kind of results before the tournament? Of, of course, yeah, yeah. They, 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 um, they probably haven't done themselves justice in this tournament with the ability that's uh, amongst that squad. But um, with the uh, Monty, the new coach in charge, uh, and you know, obviously, there's been some learning and some growing amongst the Nepali team. Look, they're a fantastic unit. Um, they're playing some exceptionally good cricket at the moment. They're going to be a force to be reckoned with in, in the future, that's for sure. You, you were aware about the insane crowd here uh, because you have played here earlier. So did you tell anything to your team that the fans are going to be the factor too? Yeah, we definitely brought that up, yeah. 
Um, luckily it was a, a holiday or a half day today so everyone managed to come in and watch but yeah I, d I definitely mentioned it to our players and said look the, you will see a passion that you won't have seen before in crowds and uh, you know the fans you know, and their love for the game is just, just amazing so I, I told our players to try and embrace the crowd and, and, and get involved with them and I think you you might have seen that there's a few guys, you know, lifting the hats and, and waves and, and whatnot. So, um, you know, it's something that comes with the game in Nepal and um, everyone here should be really proud of that.